Hi everyone, welcome to my Untop Live. My name is Gabrielle Thalen and I'm on the application engineering team here at Topology. In today's session, I'm going to show you how to import an assembly into Untop Platform and talk a little bit about why you would want to do this in the first place. So just want to start off um, with a quick example to kind of just show you what I'll be talking about. And um, as we can see here, we have like a robot arm assembly. Um, you've probably seen this before in some of our videos, but essentially we have the base um, the, this connecting arm here, then this other arm in which the end effector will be located at this, in this area. Essentially, we import our CAD assembly and we designate certain bodies or areas that we want to um, essentially optimize within NTOP platform. And in this case, the body that we are looking to optimize was this region here. And so we're able to select that region and then what we did is ran a topology optimization and we got this organic looking structure here. So just introducing a little bit of um, what I'll be talking about, just kind of that whole process there. So why do this in the first place? Um, various industries today, such as aerospace, automotive, consumer products, are just continuing to push the boundaries of design through light weighting. Part consolidation is one technique made possible through advanced manufacturing, added manufacturing. So traditional assemblies are designed due to traditional manufacturing rules um, and are fastened together with nuts, bolts, and bulky flanges. These components increase weight and assembly time. So additive manufacturing has allowed engineers to approach design with a much different mindset that is free from the rules of traditional manufacturing. So we're approaching these problems from a function first mindset and it allows designers to focus on the problem at hand, like the control of fluid flow um, in this pipe here pictured on the right. And engineers now have tools that they need to focus on um, the design challenges that matter. So this is another example of part consolidation. You've probably seen this CubeSat before. So this is, um, the researchers were able to reduce the number of parts in this, this bus design from 150 to less than 25 furthermore decrease the weight by 50% and increase stiffness by 20%. So these are really cool real life applications of um, bringing in assemblies um, and using a uh, technique such as part consolidation to really reduce the, the weight of these structures, reduce the parts um, by leveraging an advanced software like Entop Platform and also advanced manufacturing techniques such as additive manufacturing. So if you're familiar with our MTOP Help Center, um, maybe you have seen the support article, but this is this kind of talks a little bit of how we handle assemblies within MTOP platform, what that whole process looks like. Essentially, um, and this applies to SolidWorks, but we're, at this time at least, we're unable to import just a, a solid assembly, this SLD ASM, which is the assembly file format within SOLIDWORKS. Essentially what we do is we take that file and we save it out as a pair of solid. And I'll show you what that looks like in NTOP platform, but essentially we flatten this assembly into a single part and distinguish these different um, parts within that assembly as bodies within NTOP platform. So to show you exactly what I mean, let's show you an assembly in SOLIDWORKS and then show you what that looks like when we save it out as a pair of solid and bring it into NTOP platform. So here's a sample um, assembly that I found that we just have here in SOLIDWORKS, um, just a Gerper assembly. So actually it could be that end effector on our previous robot example. Um, but essentially what we have here, as you can see, the solid assembly, and then we have all these different parts within the assembly. And um, Essentially what we're going to do is just take this assembly and save it out as a pair of solid. And I believe we have around 26 parts from what I remember within this assembly. So I'll show you what that looks like within NTOP platform. So first, just going to go to File, Save As. Just go to my desktop here. And let's just save it as a pair of solid here.
Once I do that, I'm just going to jump back into Untop Platform, just into a new instance here. Go to my utilities. And then right all the way to the left here, we have our block import part. Again, I could have searched it within um, our search bar here. Or again, if I just navigate to the utilities tab, um, it's the first icon all the way to the left, import part, asking for a location here. And then I'm just going to navigate to my desktop. You see the gripper final and the parasol format. As soon as I do that, we're going to load the part in. And what you'll find is we'll, we're going to get our gripper assembly. So here's our assembly. See, it's all there. And I mentioned this whole aspect of defining bodies within Untop Platform. Well, we can see if we go into our question mark icon, view block details, we're really going to get like the anatomy of this, um, this assembly, essentially. And I said there's around 26 parts within that solid assembly from what I remembered. As you can see now, we have 26 bodies within this single part within Untop Platform. So we have all these different bodies we can interact with. I could even dive in further, go into the properties of the first body, find all the faces, the edges, the vertices, um, all this information here. And now I have all these different parts that I designated within the assembly. I brought them in. And now I can select each one of these bodies. And so maybe I wanted to perform an optimization here, or I wanted to add conformal ribbing, or um, shell it and fill this area. Now it's a matter of just selecting that region by double clicking right-clicking, create a CAD body variable, convert it directly to an implicit, really whatever I want to do, but essentially I designated what bodies I wanted as parts within my assembly and my CAD tool, saved it as a parasol, brought it in, and now you can see we have all these different bodies that we can interact with. So that's really how we handle assemblies within Untop Platform, um, in Untop Platform today at least. And yeah, if you want more reference to, again, like a how-to, um, the Help Center is a very good uh, resource for that. So one last example um, before I end this video, this pipe that I showed in the slides um, earlier in the video. So I keep on showing assemblies in SOLIDWORKS, um, talked about SOLIDWORKS a lot so far, but really this whole process is the same for any other tool. SOLIDWORKS is just kind of my CAD tool of choice. But we see this pipe, we have all the fasteners, the bolts, these flanges. And what we can do is, with the same process, bring it into on top platform and get something um, such as this part consolidated pipe. We were actually able to print this, really cool conformal ribbing on the outside, topology optimization at these flanges, really reducing um, the size significantly, the weight, the parts used. We no longer have all those fasteners um, that you saw in the, the previous CAD assembly. But um, yeah, that's how you import an assembly into on top platform. And hopefully I shed light on why you'd want to do this operation in the first place. And yeah, thank you for watching. Please continue to watch these lives. Con going to continue showing off new and cool applications of on top platform. Thank you for your time.